this is your first time here, I would love for you to subscribe because this channel is all about creativity and inspiration. I hope you feel inspired to create something amazing. Feel free to share the inspiration because life is a journey we make together. And now I'll show you how this creative project was done. A few months ago, I restored a vintage quilt that was that has been in the family and I had to remove this outside border. It was just too tattered, too torn, too worn to really repair. But what I thought would be fun is if I made a quick, easy little balance for a couple of the windows that the quilt's going to be in and I could easily cut off the damaged areas and I can also use a machine on this. So this will be super fun, super easy. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna remove this before I take the rotary cutter to it and give it a quick press. Okay, so I've taken my two yards of fabric, folded it, Longwise, I'm just going to take the scissors. So I'm going to be making two balances. And I'm just going to cut my material in half lengthwise. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, the plan is to keep this as simple as possible. Step one, I'm going to square up the ends on all four sides. So what I'm going for is I'm going to stitch my fabric, wrap it around, then I can adjust exactly how long I want it to be going to put a top seam right here and then I'm, I'm going to run another seam so it just kind of bunches up. Perfect. Super easy. I'm going to do a simple hem on the, each end. So I've pinned right sides together and I'm going just to stitch it my balance around my tension rod that I'm going to be using and I'm just kind of playing around right now for how much I want it to show on the bottom and then I'm going to take a top stitch here I was actually thinking about putting another seam in to have it a little bit ruffled up there. I think I'll do that. Okay, so I have my measurements that I'm going to, to use here. I've got about an inch on the bottom here. I'm going to put a top stitch here, which will give me about an inch and a half for my tension rod and another inch for just a little ruffle on top. So I'm kind of trimming as I go. I'm leaving raw edges, I'm leaving the tattered, just to add the shabby vintage feel for this. This is the whole purpose. It's just to kind of make something cute. Something really fast. And to use up the border that came off of the quilt. Now for this balance, I'm using the rest of the border, but I've got the turn from the quilt that's here. So I'm going to have to do a little bit, manipulating here. I think if I just bring this right over here, 
it'll continue on. So it needs to be right here. So I think I will just give that a quick seam on the machine. Perfect. And when I do two balances, two things alike, I like to kind of do them at the same time so that I can know the exact measurements. Don't have to write them down and they will be the same. That way I don't have to remember. So I have my top seam in and I'm going to give it a quick press take off any frayed areas and then I'm going to put in one more seam for my tension rod. Super cute and super easy. So I gotta say this was a super easy super cute project. I didn't even trim off the salvage. Just awesome. Can't wait to hang it up. Well, the valances I put together were so simple. I have a little extra time. I have a little extra of the border. I have a little extra fabric and I have an extra pillow. Hmm. So I've taken the border and I've sewn it together with some new end pieces and I'm going to make a ruffle for this pillow. So I've measured the pillow in each direction and I'm going to add a half inch for my seam allowance. So I have it pinned and I started in each corner and then I put the pin in the middle of that, the center again, the center again kind of eased it in so it'll have a little bit of a little ruffle effect. I don't like to start in the corner. I like to kind of start on the side so I just kind of get the rhythm, see how much it's going to gather and I always like to start on the side. So I'm trying to keep it simple and I just did an overlocking stitch on the outside because it was really starting to fray. But I think this will be just great. I'm going to now work on the back. And I'm going to put this across on one of the overlapping panels. And I think that would just be perfect. So I'm deciding now on where I want this. border to be on the back of my pillow. So I think I want it up just a little bit. So I'm going to take some off of the top, probably a couple inches here. And then I have to cut my bottom piece here. When doing the envelope fold over kind of sham, what I like to do is make sure that I have an overlap of about four inches. So I'm going to measure from here up four inches and that's where I'm going to cut my fabric. So this is my opening here. So I want this about 14 inches and this I want to take off two. Got Okay, so I'm pinning the back on. I have my end pieces all tucked in so that they're not going to get in the way. This is a piece that I want when it flips around on the outside, so I'm going to put it on the inside first. Then I'm going to, I've got my bottom piece with a 
him in it and I'm going to put that on the bottom. So now that I have it all pinned, what I'm actually going to do is take my small scissors and on each end I'm going to pull the pin and I'm going to just trim this so that I know exactly where I need to sew. Then I'll put the pin back. All right, let's give it a go. So I pulled the pins out, the big reveal. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. I think it turned out awesome. Let me show you the back. It has this little ruffle. The only thing is I missed a stitch right here, but I think I'm just going to attack it by hand. I'm not going to pull it apart again, and I think it's going to be the best anyway, just by hand right there. What? So cute!